In this presentation, we are going to look at the program flow control instructions. As we know, ARM instructions are broadly classified into data processing instructions, data transfer instructions, and the program flow control or branch control instructions. Where data transfer instructions which includes move instructions, moving data between the registers and moving the data between the memory and the registers. Data processing instructions includes arithmetic instruction, logical instructions, bit field instructions, shift instructions, etc. And branch control instructions or program flow control instructions are going to change the execution flow. For this, we are referring the work definitely way to ARM Cortex M3 and M4 processors from the Joseph U author. And we are referring chapter 5. And in chapter 5, we are going to concentrate on program flow control instructions which there are sub modules available so there are branches normally we use unconditional jump unconditional jump in our conventional microcontrollers something like short jump those are called as branches here okay so call return instructions are called as function calls then conditional branches means jump not zero uh, jump zero something like that which is conditional branch compare and branches means uh, decrement and jump not zero the instruction like what we used in our 8020 is decrement and jump not zero is compare and branch instructions another special instruction is conditional uh, execution which is if then instructions okay and then there are something like table branch instructions so all these instructions will change the program flow or which will control the program flow it makes the program to execute from different different locations then it is called as program flow control instructions all these instructions modifies the program counter content hence it switches the program execution to some other location based on the application need very nice so program flow control instructions there are several types of instructions for program control instructions they are branch they are function call conditional branch combined compare and conditional branch conditional execution that is if then instruction then table branch so to start with branch a number of instructions can cause branch operations branch instruction that is branch branch and dx denotes it is branch extension and data processing instruction that updates r15 mov instruction that instruction which updates r15 that can also produce as a branch because r15 is a program counter if any move instruction changes program counter that changes the execution uh, sequence and uh, if any add instruction modifies the r15 content which will modify the program content because R15 is program counter and the program execution sequence will change. And memory read instruction that writes into program counter can also cause branch operations. So LDR instruction can cause branch, LDM instruction can cause branch, POP instruction can cause branch. Okay, so any instruction which is capable of uh changing the r15 register are capable of doing branch control or branch control instructions that's why the examples like ldr ldm pop mov add b bx all can do branch control why because all these instructions can modify the r15 register r15 register is the program count register okay so table 5.31 shows the unconditional branch instructions so b denotes branch to label so branch to the loop branch loop one something like that if the branch range is over plus or minus 2 kb okay you might need to specify uh, branch w to use 30 bit versions so plus or minus 2 kb so all the short jumps are relative jump as we normally say which occupies only 256 bytes so plus or minus 128 here plus or minus 2 kb means 4 kb so 12 bit address so 12 bit address are plus or minus 2 kb locations 2 kb locations can be uh, accessed by using branch and uh, you want to access the entire 32 bit location means you have to write an instruction branch with w so why the word branch something like that. w means word word branch so on the entire 32 bit is used something like that so branch and exchange so bx means branch and exchange is another instruction which is used to Set the corresponding T bit also for uh, Cortex M processor. And there is a function call, and there is no call instruction here. Also, branch link call return means return will be 
loaded in the link register. So jump is branch. Call instruction is branch link. What is link? Link register is our 14 register which stores the return address. So to execute the branch and at the same time save the return address to the link register LR so that the processor can branch back to the original program after the function call is completed. Okay. So BL and BLX are the two instructions for calling a function. So branch means jump instruction. Branch with link means call instruction, call return instruction. Okay. So jump instruction need not uh, require return address. Hence, it can just like the branch. But call instruction needs a written, written location. Hence, the written address of the main program need to be stored somewhere. Here in our case, written address is stored into the link register, which is R14 register in our uh, ARM Cortex M processors. So, wherever you have a BL, means it is called written instruction. Wherever B alone, which is something like jump instruction. Like this, we can compare and we can study very simply. So branch and branch to a labeled address and save to the return address in link register. Save the return address in the link register. And BLX means branch to an address specified by RM and save the result address in link register and update the three bit in EPSR with LSB of RM. It's very interesting, right? Updating the T bit means it is branch and link extension. So very clear. So conditional branches now. So conditional jump. Okay. Conditional branches are executed conditionally based on the current values in APSR register. So APR register application processor status register here. We have the flags. So negative flag, zero flag, carry flag, and overflow flags as shown in the table 5.3. So there is a 30, the 31st bit of APSR register is negative flag, 30th bit is zero flag, 29th bit is carry flag, and 28th bit is overflow flag. So the required condition for a conditional branch to take place indexed in the suffix indicated as condition in the table 5.34. So the branch with condition and the label. Okay. So branch to a label if condition is true. So for example, branch if equal to loop if uh, compare r naught with one if r naught is equal to one then branch to the loop something like that so branch to loop branch to the label loop if r naught equal to one something like that so branch ranges over plus or minus 24 bytes is needed we need to specify branch word use the bit version of the branch instruction for wider range that's very interesting so the condition is among the 14 possible conditions so in 810, we have jump 0, jump not 0, jump carry, jump no carry, jump plus, jump minus, something like that. There are 6 or 7 conditions only available in 8051. But in ARM Cortex M4, there are 14 conditions available, which is quite interesting. Just on the table 5.3, you can see. Branch if equal, branch if not equal, branch carry set, branch uh, higher or same, uh, branch carry clear, branch if uh, unsigned lawyer happened, branch if minus, branch if plus, branch if overflow, branch if overflow clears, and branch if it is high, unsigned higher, branch if it is unsigned lower, branch if greater than or equal to, branch if it is less than, branch if greater than, signed greater than, branch if it is less than or equal to, and lot more. Less than or equal, it goes on. So there are 14 conditions available for a branch instruction which is more convenient for the programmer to do more customizable branches. It's very clear. Okay. So in the ARM B7, so the version 7, exclusively for Cortex-M architecture, two new instructions are provided to supply a combined compare to zero and conditional branch operations. These two instructions are compare and branch if zero, compare and branch if not zero. So along with uh, branching conditional so compare conditional branch it's very interesting right compare and conditional branches here only support forward branches they only support forward branches and not backward branches compare uh, and branch if zero compare and branch if not zero are very useful in loop structures such as while loops okay so when we write a while loop like this while i is not equal to zero 
to this function and i minus minus. So execute this function one five times. For making that, we'll write a while loop like this. For that, uh, while compiling, the compiler will make use of the CBZ assembly instruction or CBMZ assembly instruction for fulfilling this uh, C syntax requirement. This will uh, reduce the memory and enhances the processing speed. Okay. So R0 has to be decremented five times and then R0 will become zero. Then when it becomes zero, then automatically the loop will execute. So this is the C program. The compiler compiles this and its assembly equivalent will become like this by using the instruction. Okay, so it's very interesting. So the usage of CB and Z is very similar to CB set apart from the fact that the branch is taken, Z flag is not set. So besides conditional branches, Cortex M3 and Cortex M4 processor also support conditional execution. This is very interesting, right? After and if then instruction is executed. There is something like if then, IT means if then, up to four of the subsequent instructions can be conditionally executed based on the conditions specified by the if then instruction in the application program status register value. And if then instruction block consists of an if then instruction with conditional execution details followed by one to four conditional execution instructions. So the conditional execution instructions can be data processing instructions or memory access instructions. The last conditional execution instructions in the IT block can also be conditional branch instruction. So the if then instruction statement contains if then instruction of code with up to an additional three optional suffixes of T means then and uh, E means else followed by the condition to check against which is the same as the condition symbol for conditional branches. So the then or else indicates how many subsequent instructions are inside the if then instruction block and whether they should or should not be executed if the condition is met. It's very interesting. Mm -hmm. To begin with, we can see one example here. In this flowchart, you are able to see if R0 equal to 1, R3 must be increment, be loaded with a 2. If R0 is not equal to 1, R3 will be loaded with 1. So this is the thing. To implement this, we will write an assembly language program like this. For example, using the same program for in 5.8, we can write the operation as so compare R0 with 1, compare R0, 1. So check for 1 in R0. If then else equal. If equal. If equal means if then else. As told, right? If then else, that means two instructions are there. Then means execute this instruction. Else means execute this instruction. That's what then. Check for equal. So this equal. O equal. R3 is loaded with immediate constant 2. If not equal, R3 is loaded with immediate constant 1. That's very interesting. So different combination of then and else sequence are possible. Just one condition execution instruction means I if then, two conditional execution instructions means if then, then, if then, else. And three conditional execution instruction means if then, then, if then, then, else, if then, else, then, or if then, else, else, something like that we can try. Four conditional instruction execution means eight possible combinations. If then, 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 if then, 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 else, if then then else then, if then then else else, if then else then then, if then else then else, if then else else then, if then else else else, something like this. Table 5.36 lists various forms of if then instruction block sequence as examples. Here you can see, x specifies the execution condition for the second instruction, y specifies the execution condition for the third instruction, z specifies the execution for the fourth instruction. And condition specifies the base condition of the instruction block. First instruction following ID executes the condition is true. Here you see um, if then x is the execution condition of the second instruction. Okay. As even if then uh, x x means what? Here it is else so else means less than less than means r not is loaded with 
and then with uh, R3, something like this. So here for the three condition instruction, Y specific execution condition for the third instruction. Y specific execution condition for the third instruction. Here you can see if then else then here it is else then. So greater than less than else. Something like this. And the fourth condition, here it is Z. Z you can see fourth condition one, two, three, four. True. Uh, that is then. Then, then means if it is not equal like so if then 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 here it is if then else then then if then else then then so up to if four conditions so for four conditions four instructions can be executed maybe in the following uh, classes we'll be discussing some examples to make it much more clear so this if then else statements are very much useful for conditional execution in more comfortable way in the uh, embedded control applications. There is something like a table branch, cortex M3 and cortex M4, suppose two table branch instruction, table branch right and table branch half word. These instructions are used with branch tables often used to implement switch statements in C code. Since bit zero of the program counter value is always zero, branch table using bra table branch instruction does not have to store that bit and therefore branch offset is multiplied by two in the target address calculation. The table branch byte is used when all the entries in the branch table are organized as a byte array. The table branch high, half of is table branch half word is used when all the entries are organized as a half word array. Both table branch byte and table branch half word support forward branches on the table branch instruction has the syntax of table branch R and DRM, where R and stores the base address of the branch table, and RM is the branch table index. We can view the operation as shown in the figure. So table branch means program flow is here, table branch PC comma RM. So RM plus RM. The table will be branch, it is it will branch us to this table, which is 8 bit address as shown in the figure 5.9. So this is the program flow. When RM equal to N, then table branch byte PC comma RM means so RM is PC plus 4 and RM B. So RM plus RM. So it will jump to the address, which address, new pro program counter. Program counter is be loaded with new value, which is program counter plus 4, plus 2 into value of n. That is this byte value that we are given in this corresponding register. And similarly, table branch half word instruction has the syntax tvh rn, comma, rm, comma, logical shift left hash 1. Stores the base address of the branch table, branch table index. We can view the operations as shown in the figure 5.10 as you see here. So the table branch on difference here it is. Here it is 16 bit, which is half word. There it is 8 bit, which is byte. That is only difference. You can see these are all the bytes. And here it is half words. Value 0, value 1 of the value, and these are all the half words. This is the table branch. So table branch byte and table branch half word instructions are used in. C compiler in switch case statements. Thank you very much.